Hey guys, welcome to Thinking Aloud with yours truly, Mary Barber. My thoughts aloud on anything and everything I deem fit. So someone sent me a message uh, sometime yesterday. Uh, it was a message um, she saw on Instagram and it was stated that um, the person actually wanted my own point of view on the matter. And the question was, or rather is, can a guy and a girl be best friends? Not just best friends. Can they go for dinner dates, walks, uh, movies, um, a whole long list uh, which included cuddling. Now, there's a same mother that told me, well, I was very young. And she stated that a man and a woman cannot be best friends. And the analogy she gave was that, can you keep a yam with a goat and trust that the goat will leave the yam uneaten? If so, then a man and a woman can be best of friends, can do everything without sex being included. And if you think about it, there's some truth to it. Can you leave yam with goat? You can't even leave charcoal with goat. I do believe that a guy and a girl could be best of friends. But then I don't see it going as far as dinner dates. It's too much. Uh, movies. Uh, yeah, you can go out on movies. But when it becomes overly regular, one or two of them are catching feelings, no doubt. But then cuddling is where I draw the line. You cannot be doing cuddling or issue with your bestie. Someone is catching feelings. It's not healthy. It's not safe and it's so unreal. You guys should man up and say the truth to yourself. That cannot happen. But say usual hangouts, movies, where you do the latest gossips of what is going on in each other's lives, that's okay. But when they didn't and they done, they pass one, no more. And two, I've also been asked about this whole Cynthia Morgan, Judo Koye thing. I have read uh, the contract. If you haven't read the contract, you can follow Tunde Not on um, Instagram. I'll actually uh, see if I can add the, the contract. Um, I screenshotted it, I think. I'll see if I can put it in the video. If, I'm, if I can't, then I'm going to put the link to it so you just can look at it yourself. Um, if you read the contract, you would see that some of the things she actually said is null and void. Like saying that Jude has access to her name. They only had access to an, an, or have control over her name, which is Cynthia Morgan. They only have control or had control over it when she was under their uh, record label for the duration of the contract. And that contract has elapsed. She still owns the name. Um, it was very, very fair. Everything was split equally. Um, people are coming out to even say that in the music industry, nothing is, almost nothing is given to you equally. It's always 70, 30, 60, 40. But here it was equally. So her contract was actually very good. Except there is more to this than we are seeing. I don't know. You know, Cynthia right now is just looking like, mm, cry for help. <laughs> Not to take anything from her. I liked her when she came out. I still like her. I still believe that there is, you know, a comeback for her in the music industry. But let's just go past this jazz. I beg. And I really, I don't want to have anything to say about this Judo Koye crap. I'm more interested about the Peace Square than the Cynthia Morgan. And people are complaining that, oh, Medi is there. Nobody's talking about Medi is because Cynthia Morgan is a woman. That's why people are all, all over her story. That might be true. Sexuality sells, women sell. Um, but that doesn't take away the fact that uh, maybe Mady isn't reaching out the right way or who knows. There's more under the sun than you and I know. Okay, and then one other one. I got a request on things that you could, movies you could watch. Huh. I'm not current, but I can tell you movies and series you could revisit that will blow your mind. Now, if you're into gothic um, fantasy thriller, please revisit Penny Dreadful. Please, I don't even know why they even stopped Penny Dreadful. I, I've been Googling it and I think they said they're going to um, 
the spin-offs is gonna be coming out. I really can't wait for the spin-offs. If the spin-off is out already, eee, I'm way back. But Penny Dreadful is is big. It's big. And then um Game of Thrones. I wasn't a Game of Thrones fan until probably ending of 2019 or 2020. I swear. I didn't like it when everybody was watching it. It was too much rave. But then when I started, I got to understand why winter is coming. You know. Um, another one, House of Cards. I actually really, really like House of Cards. Once in a while, I revisit it. It's a very good series. Um, the one I'm into right now that is rocking my world is Hannibal. Hannibal is like a mixture of um, CSI meets Criminal Mind meets crazy it's 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 fantastic you get so yeah Hannibal is actually very good um uh, for movies yes I've been seeing or rather I saw where people is trying to compare Extraction and John Wick now if you haven't watched Extraction you must be living under a rock even I that I'm way back in movies I have seen Extraction Extraction is really really dope this is another side of Chris Hemworth that I love. You know, I looked at him and I did not see Thor, which is actually very, very good. You should be able to pull off different hearts. Um, so Extraction was Bay, but I don't see the diff. I don't. I don't see the comparison between himself and John Wick. So please, people, stop comparing both. Um, I'm a John Wick fan, and if I had to choose between John Wick and Tyler, Tyler is a character for. Um, Chris Hemworth in Extraction. I would have to go with uh, John Wick because I am completely biased. I love Chris Hemworth, but I love Keanu more. And that's the only reason why I'm picking um, John Wick. But both characters are phenomenal. Great. Um, oh, yeah, I just switched to movies. And then I just recently watched, I'm even ashamed to say it, Just Mercy. <laughs> I actually watched Just Mercy last night because I knew I had to do this. Um, movie review today uh, Just Mercy is a very very good movie I actually followed through the making of the movie and all that but for some reason I never watched it till yesterday and I had it all. but anyway those are movies and series that I feel you should revisit or you should watch um, during this period whether you have a job or whether you don't have a job if you don't have a job please keep job hunting aha uh, but yeah, just to sit back as a recreational um, thing for yourself. Those are the things you should indulge for music. See me still topping the charts for me. Um, Corey de Bello, I forgot to actually say Corey de Bello in my last video. Me Casa Su Casa. Great, great song. Um, yeah, still rocking. Um, yeah, I think I've answered all the questions and requests. If you have any more questions, if you have any requests, uh simply share them with me and i would um reply remember to subscribe to my youtube channel thinking aloud with mary barbara until next time be good and be you